Hello everyone and welcome back to Time Jump History with me Ed and today we're having a look at our project what we've been working on so this is part two of the rise of the Earl of Devon and we have actually created and made his standard it's been a fun couple of weeks creating the standard hand painting it and putting the embroidery on it's been quite a fun little project and that will hopefully be flying over us at the Battle of Tewkesbury reenactments next year in 2024 so here is a little bit of how we went about making the standard of the Earl of Devon. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you at the end. So some of you might remember a little teaser video we left up last week and this is uh, just a little photo of so the materials used to make the standard. And so what we're doing guys is just measuring out and marking out with a pencil first of all all the pattern and design onto the flag. So with the fishtail standard you have a cross of St George in the far corner and then we will go through all the sections. There is a boar, there are five fish and there are two uh, long strips which has Latin inscribed onto it. So here we have the shape of the fishtail banner all cut out across my dining room table which was a nice delight for my other half coming in one day from work and wondering what the heck am I doing. Then we were just masking taping uh, out the cross so what we're going to do is fill all the blank space in with white paint and when we peel it back we should have a beautiful crisp cross hopefully uh, and uh, when we pull back the tape and with that I got carried away I filled in the bore and the two big strips which will hold the Latin inscription and then we added all the little fish uh, as well. My apologies, said five earlier, there wasn't, it was a uh, seven fish. And then when we peeled back the tape, the cross came out perfectly, and as you can see, we've got cut out there the templates for the Latin which will be going on to the standard. Now, we're doing all of this, unfortunately, I uh, forgot to film the next process, which was uh, putting some gold trim on the edge. But uh, as you see in the next photo now, uh, there is some beautiful gold trim and uh, a little bit of waving it around because it's all finished. Took about two weeks to make, guys. Uh, absolutely fantastic little project. Uh, and everyone will definitely see where the Earl of Devon is on the battlefield. So I hope you all enjoyed that, guys. And here it is in its glory. All finished with the gold trim and say, so unfortunately, didn't get any photos of uh, me put, uh, getting the gold trim being put on. Uh, unfortunately, Ooh, getting out of shot there. So, I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this little video, guys. And there's lots more to be coming uh, with the rise of the new Earl of Devon. So, hopefully, guys, we'll see you very soon back here on the channel with some more updates on how the Earl of Devon will be uh, portrayed on the battlefield. We've got some extra bits coming. I can't wait to, uh, when they arrive, to unbox them and show you some little bits we've been ordering. Um, so stay tuned, guys, for this uh, fantastic uh, little journey we're on. And don't forget, a Lancaster, a Lancaster. See you soon, guys. Take care. And don't forget, guys, to like, share, and subscribe for more updates from Time Jump Histories and the rise of the new Earl of Devon.